Two Monticello sisters are using their talents to contribute to their community. We first met Caden and Elsie Shearer a few months ago when they raised money for Riley Children's Hospital through drawing pictures. Now they're doing the same thing for a local animal shelter. News 18's Micah Upshaw reports. It's just really nice to help people and it's really friendly. Eight-year-old Elsie and ten-year-old Caden Shearer unintentionally created a business that's booming. We've been drawing pictures and we've been giving them pictures to those people who wanted them and they keep giving us money. The two sisters started drawing pictures and selling them to raise money for Riley Children's Hospital last year. They ended up raising $500, which went to providing toys for patients. Now they're continuing with a new organization in mind. They actually suggested an animal shelter. They, they're the ones that thought of it. I said, you can pick anything you want. That's what they picked, so I did some research and this is the only one I could find that was a donation-driven one in our county. They chose Happy Tales Animal Shelter in Monticello. Shelter Board of Directors President Esther Hardy says the Shearer family's request to donate money was unexpected yet much needed. We are a, a not-for-profit organization. Um, we are a no-kill shelter, so um, we have you know daily operating costs of, of food and taking care of you know, vet bills. The girls granted the animal shelter $350. That is just wonderful. Knowing that the kids want to get involved to, to help us, um, to help the animals is very heartwarming. With help from their parents, the girls have been selling their drawings to friends and family through Facebook. Kaden is happy with all those who supported her and her sister's work. It really helped others for Riley Hospital and the animal shelter. They love helping people. And I don't think that they completely understand what they're doing. They just know that there's a need and they want to fulfill it. In Monticello, Micah Upshaw, News 18. Thanks so much, Micah. An open house today gave people.